just picked up a new trailer so I wanted to do a quick little video on it it's a mission trailer four place all aluminum well, let's see if we can get a shot underneath of here these trailers are really well constructed it's got dual brake axles the whole thing is all aluminum no steel on it besides the axles itself they, I don't know if you can see it from here, but they reinforce underneath the axles <clears throat> with a piece of L-channel just to stiffen it up a little bit so you won't have any problems with your frame. On this side, you got two fuel doors. Oh, they're locked. This, this little latch here is pretty cool too. You just uh, slides it in and it locks itself on there. Pretty neat. Little step to get in. <clears throat> yeah. and this is the inside over. Obviously that's the rear loading door. It's got the channels on the floor here for your, your D-rings. You just slide them up and to wherever you need them. This is your light switch for your, there's a light right on the outside here, right in this area. That's for your uh, loading light. This light here, this turns on interior lights. And this is a drive on, drive off. So you have your, your front door here and there's also a light in the front. You can hit that on, it turns light on in the front. It's got the ski guides and the guard for the studs on the floor here. These are really nice trailers. This is the Mission Enclosed trailer. It's an 18 foot trailer and as you can see I can fit four 121 inch snowmobiles in here no problem. And I'm just trail riding so I don't need nothing really any bigger. But this is what I ended up picking up. There's a lot of room in here. You got a lot of standing room and you got room for your gear, sleds. And, uh, it's got the fuel door here. There's one up there. You got your regular door, plus a, a drive on and drive off door. The pros to this is it gives me more storage. I ain't gotta keep these sleds in the garage anymore. So it frees up a lot of space for me. It's uh, gives me, it's easier for me to tow extra sleds up. I got plenty of room for it now. It gives me the capability of, if me and the guys want to go do a big trip or something, we can just all load in here and take one, one vehicle. Well, at least a few of us can go in here if, if we all went. But you get what I'm saying. Um price I, I don't know if that's a pro or a con but uh i was looking at used trailers before i bought this and the used trailers same exact trailer as this same thing same color everything was 10 years older and they were asking 300 dollars less than what i paid for this brand new so and the dealer said where i bought this trailer from that they were going up another 30 percent more when he gets the new trailers in so I, I can't really complain about the price too much, but I'm not paying these crazy prices. I, at that point, I'll just buy new. Uh, some of the cons, these, uh, these ski guides are very slick, even in the summertime. I can't imagine them with snow on them. If uh you try to walk up then, you're gonna be on the ground in a hurry. The traction mats here are pretty good. You can walk up then but um it is it is a tall trailer now i'm gonna probably spray them axles down with some uh fluid film just something to protect them from the salt i probably won't be towing this as much as i will my little clamshell trailer just because i'm not going to be pulling four sleds up all the time so I'll save some money on the tolls by bringing a smaller trailer. But 
if you're looking for a trailer, this one seems to be pretty good quality and I'd recommend it.